Oh, it's the Aston 188 that's hard in the wall. Come there to guard behind the wheel. Oh, that's done. That's been a huge incident. We're going to see the intervention of the Mercedes AMG safety car for this one right across the track. It's the voice of race director James Taylor in Motorsport Australia Race Control. Confirming safety car, and that's our first an hour and 26 minutes into the race. And Com Ledegar, the Frenchman, who's been here before in a McLaren, he was a former factory driver for that team, has jumped out of that car under his own power. The question for mine is where did that accident start? Because it's finished yeah. on the road down at the Dipper, but there's quite a telltale of where that car's been in the fence. Com Ledegar out of the car under his own steam, extensive left-hand side and rear damage to the Aston. He's come across Skyline and has he lost it at Skyline? Oh, too, oh, much, too much curb at Skyline and hits hard. Oh, man. The right-hand side of that car. There was two big, horrible thuds as he came through. Fortunately, on the passenger side, back and middle of the car. Good driving from the team car to avoid that. And the team would have been told instantly what went on this at full speed. Have a listen. I hear that sound. That was Andrew Watson stamping on the anchors and just about able to squeeze by that stricken sister car, as I say. But, uh, well, all three Astons have been running together, as we mentioned. And you just see, you know, one car has a moment and it's a question of having to react as quickly as possible. And the two guys in the queue, Rick Kelly and Andrew Watson, did a tremendous job at that. So the first AMG safety car for the day. It will play a role in dictating how this race plays out with strategy, with other incidents. And there's the old saying that once you've got one, you tend to get another safety car because it groups the field up. And that energy we saw in the first hour of the race with everyone squabbling will return. So we're under caution on the mountain. Ten and a half hours to go. And it's McLaren leading the way from Mercedes AMG. They're second and third. Porsche next and Bentley running inside the top five. 